A lot of things change when you move abroad. It's not only your appearance, your way of thinking, but also your habits. In this video, I'll be sharing my new habits that I've acquired while moving to new countries. Let's go. One of the biggest habits I acquired was more walking and biking and less driving. Back in Russia, I would drive literally anywhere. I need to go shopping, I would drive. I need to go for a walk with my friends, I would drive. I need to go camping, I'm gonna drive. In Montreal, everything has changed. When I was living in Ottawa, I would use a bus because in Ottawa, it's like a bit complicated to navigate if you don't have a car or a bike. But in Montreal, I stopped buying a bus pass. Honestly, for the last five years, I haven't had a bus pass and I really enjoyed it. I would walk everywhere except for long distances and some kind of trips. In Lisbon, I rarely take public transport as well because you can walk everywhere. Again, it depends on where you're going, where you're coming from, because if I know I need to go uphill, I would take a bike or I will take an Uber. But other than that, you can pretty much walk everywhere. Also, the city center, like the downtown, tiny. You can walk. And if you've been wondering, I'm that friend who says, it's literally a 10 minute walk, let's walk, and then we'll be walking for an hour. The second habit I acquired is a complex one, and it's recycling. Anything from plastic, paper, glass, like anything. Again, back in Russia, we haven't had any recycling back eight years ago when I left. And we're not talking about the OGs, babushkas, who would like compost and then like recycle, reuse. No, those are amazing people. But the majority of the people, they would not recycle, they will not do anything. After moving to Canada, I had to spend some time adjusting to the new reality because you have green beans, you have blue beans, you have black beans, you have blah, 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 blah. And you're like, but what do I do with that? I think I started recycling during my second year because first year I was just like new country, new everything. But then I was like, okay, let's recycle. And it turned out to be super easy. Like it says on the bin what goes where. Also, there are a lot of guides available online. If you Google recycling guide Montreal, recycling guide Toronto, you'll find all the information online. So for example, you have a sanitizer. On the bottom, there's gonna be a number one saying this is plastic number one and then you can google and see where it goes how it can be recycled because some of the plastic things cannot be recycled you can bring them to special facilities and then they'll take care of them but overall recycling is my best you know honestly i recycle everything from like cat food containers to glass bottles but also speaking of glass bottles if I cannot reuse the bottle, I will recycle it. So I'm trying to reuse a lot of things if I have an empty jar, like, I don't know, from pasta or from a sauce or I don't know. I will try to reuse it because, you know, reuse, recycle, very good for the environment. And speaking of recycling, I've definitely became more careful about things. I would give a second life to all my jars, like candle jars, like sauce jars, glass containers anything. Literally, I would use everything. I also started buying secondhand clothes and things. And it's so interesting to me because in Canada, literally everyone buys everything secondhand. You go to Facebook marketplace, you go to Kijiji. If you need to buy a camera, it's going to be cheaper secondhand than buying a new one. Yet people in Portugal, they would buy everything new. I have a hard time selling secondhand things here. Again, in Canada, we have refurbished items, we have open box items, meaning somebody just like opened it, whatever, did something, sent it back, and now they're selling it. And it's cheaper, you can save money and still enjoy your product. So this is definitely a new habit of mine that I've got when I moved to Canada. The next one is very interesting, and it's smiling. And I'm being real here, my friends. In one of my last videos, somebody mentioned my smile. They're like, oh, you're smiling, and I'm like, you will not believe me, but it took me like seven years to start smiling. And the person was like, what? And that's, that's true. Like, I'm not even lying. In Russia, in post-USSR countries, people, they don't smile for no reason. They will not be walking down the street like this and like this. They'll be like, like serious, like, you know, 
Like, why are you smiling? So for me, it was super weird in Canada when I walk down the street and people smile and they're like, hey, how's it going? And you're like, what's going on? So I was working for a company for three years. And after three years, my boss was like, the day has come. Yulia is finally smiling and laughing at my jokes. I'm going to put it in the calendar because that's a very rare occasion. And the next one is kind of relative to the previous one. And it's the small talk. I've talked about it many times on this channel, but that's something you'll need to learn if you move into Canada because people love to small talk. It's just you must, you have to. I feel like I'm still getting used to this stuff because I don't know, I would go to Starbucks, a person is like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, stop and halfway, I'm like, good, good, how are you? Can I have my caramel macchiato? So I'm still getting used to that stuff. I mean, sometimes when I'm in the mood, I would go to a place and be like, hey, how's it going? How's the day? Can I have my coffee? But some of the days when I'm in a rush or I just don't have time, energy, whatever, I would be like, can I have my coffee? And they're like, Hope you had a great weekend. <laughs> and if you don't know what a small talk is, it's basically a small conversation about anything like hobby, weather, your day, maybe your relatives. We've spoke more about small talk in this video. Don't forget to watch it after. And I think overall, when I moved to Canada, I saw how genuinely happy and friendly people are. My whole like mentality and like my views on this life changed. I think I was rude, not super tolerant. I was like, ignorant Miss Yulia. But after moving to Canada and talking to those people, I was like, but like, why am I like this? Like, people are nice overall. Like, there are always bad people and rude people and whatever. But overall, people are super nice and friendly. And I think I became more acceptable, more, you know, more open to like other opinions. Because before that, if someone says something, I'd be like, you're wrong. I'm gonna prove you wrong, because I'm right. Now I'm just like, there are many opinions, many people, like, I'm okay with it. I, I can see where this person is coming from. I can see where this person is coming from. So, I don't know. I feel like Canada changed me a lot, not only habits-wise, but also views and mentality wise. And I think I learned in Canada to think critically because before that you just see one thing, you believe this one thing. In Canada, you're like, hmm, but why should I believe that one thing? Maybe I should do my research and see like other five sources of information. I think that's what a lot of people lack, especially like in countries like Russia and like Belarus, Ukraine, maybe people don't know how to think critically. Not all of them, but most of them. So I think that's a good habit that I've acquired when I moved to Canada. Again, don't expect it to come like super instantly. You move to Canada and you're like super fun and open and smiling and you can small talk and it's like everything is cool and nice. It takes time. It takes time, but it will come naturally to you. And trust me, one day you will look back at yourself and you'll be like, who is that person? I cannot recognize this person anymore. If you move to a new country, let me know in the comments what habits did you acquire. Let's share the knowledge and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!